Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Adrian Broner looking slow as shit in that clip. But he's already started training for the Manny Pacquiao fight. And let me just make a correction from the last video. Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner will take place on January 19th in Las Vegas. So I said February is really in January. It is what it is. Gives, you know, it's a little something to somewhat look forward to. Though, depending upon what side you're on, I mean, if you're an Adrian Broner fan, which I'm sure there aren't too many of you guys out there left, you're hoping that he has the... <laughs> I don't even know what to say good about Adrian Broner. But, you know, at this point in both of these guys' careers, I would say that Adrian Broner is the more athletic... <laughs> Man, I can't say this shit without, without laughing. Adrian Broner has all the tools needed to beat Manny Pacquiao. However, he doesn't know how to use the tools in his toolbox to beat Manny Pacquiao. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? He gonna go in there, he gonna get his ass beat, all right? Now, Manny Pacquiao's coming off of a win against Lucas Matisse, a shot fighter. So he looked amazing against Lucas Matisse quitting ass, right? Because we know Matisse like to quit, and he quit in that fight against Manny Pacquiao thus making Manny Pacquiao the fake WBA champion of the world at 147, who should really be fighting Keith Thurman, but he shook. And you know, Al Heyman over here protecting this guy on PBC, doing this exact same shit that Bob Arum was doing over at, what was that, a top rank. But the only difference being is top, top rank was at least trying to, or Bob Arum was at least trying to match him up against Terrence Crawford, but of course Pacquiao wanted a shitload of money to fight Terrence Crawford. Now, he figures he can go in here and beat the living shit out of Adrian Broner, and I believe that too. I believe that's going to happen, but all Adrian Broner got to do is let his hands go. He's fast enough. You know, he, he's fast enough. His hand speed, he got punching power where he's he got all again. He got all the tools, but he shook. He'd be scared as shit to let his hands go. That's all you gotta do is let your hands go against Pacquiao, and you can have a good chance of beating him. That's all I'm gonna say about that, you know. But Pacquiao, he's out to beat Broner, and of course get that rematch with Floyd Mayweather, so he can get that money. Now both of these guys have a lot to lose. Can you imagine Adrian Broner beating Manny Pacquiao and setting up a fight with him and uh, Floyd Mayweather? That'd be crazy, right? But I, I beg to differ. This is going to be a, a fight that Pacquiao wins. And, you know, halfway through the fight, if it goes 12 rounds, I, I would assume that Adrian Broner is going to be discouraged and he's going to give up. You know, like he always does. He just tries not to get knocked out. And, you know, I hate to see that, Broner. But honestly, dude... You need to go out all guns blazing in this fight against Manny Pacquiao because everybody thinks you a joke. Everybody. Everybody online, everybody who got a channel, they think you a joke. Everybody. You know, you when it's all said and done, who's really going to remember Adrian Broner as a great fighter? We'll know that he was a guy who had a lot of potential and he could never live up to his potential. But in the grand scheme of things, he really wasn't shit. Let's see. There was a quote in here I wanted to read off from Adrian Broner. Let's see. I ain't no quote. Fuck it. Who cares? He was a fuck what he got to say, right? Well, he's he's training hard for this fight. But we get the same story from Adrian Broner every every camp. Oh, I'm focused. Oh, I'm, I'm taking this serious. You know, it's a bunch of uh, smoke being blown up everybody's ass. Pause. But... I wouldn't mind seeing Adrian Broner beat Manny Pacquiao. I'm not going to lie. I would like to see Broner beat Pacquiao. I just, you know, I'm realistic. You know, I'm realistic in what I expect of Adrian Broner. And 
I expect him to lose. This will be his, what, fourth loss? He lost to Maidana first. Uh, who did he lose to after that? It was Maidana. Damn, hang on a second. Let me, let me, let me, without looking this shit up. He lost to Marcos Maidana. I'm not going to do this in order. He lost to Mikey Garcia. Oh, wait, Maidana, Porter. Then he lost to Mikey Garcia. So that's three losses. This is about to be number four. You got to count it because we all think Pacquiao washed up anyway. So you should be losing to washed up fighters when you're way younger than him. By at least 10 years, you know. But, hey, if you want if you want to bet and be stupid, put your money on Adrian Broner. Put your house up so you can be homeless betting on Adrian Broner. I have no faith in this guy. But, again, it's just refreshing to see Manny Pacquiao fight somebody other than Timothy Bradley or Juan Manuel Marquez. And, you know, I get he fought Jeff Horn. I still think he got robbed against Jeff Horn personally. You know, he took a loss to Jeff. He lost to, uh, who else he lose to? That's about it, right? He lost to Mayweather. Then he lost to Jeff Horn. Who did he fight in between? Damn, I can't remember. I think he fought, I think he fought Jeff Horn after the, Mayweather loss. I could be wrong. He dug Mike Alvarado. <laughs> uh, Pacquiao beat Lucas Matisse. How many fights did he have after Pac after uh, Mayweather? Horn, Matisse. Damn, let me go to this box work real quick. I know. I got to be missing something, right? Manny Pacquiao. No doubt Manny Pacquiao is going to be a Hall of Famer when it's all said and done, but, you know, I'm not looking forward to Pacquiao with PBC if he's not going to fight the, the champions over there, but I guess you got to pay this guy the money, and you got to preserve him for as long as you can. He's 39? Shit, man. Pacquiao got a slave deal. You've been boxing for your whole motherfucking life. So after, oh, shit. Okay, I'm tweaking. He did beat Timothy Bradley. That was that that shit where Timothy Bradley was getting knocked around the fucking ring and doing cartwheels and shit in the ring. I remember that shit. He beat his ass. Then he beat the fuck out of Jesse Vargas. I put money on that fight. I remember that. Okay, then Jeff Horn. Then he beat the shit out of Lucas Matisse. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Damn, Pacquiao got a lot of motherfucking fights. This motherfucker fought 69 times. That's, you, you need to give it up. You need to just, you need to give it up. Because they're going to try to put you in there with Mikey Garcia probably. But he got a two-fight deal from what I understand. So after that shit, you need to fucking retire after you get your ass beat by Floyd. I'm not paying a dime for that shit. Not paying a dime to watch you fight Floyd Mayweather and dance with his ass. And I ain't paying a dime to watch you fucking beat the shit out of Adrian Broner. Hitman Boxing, again, Adrian Broner's training for this fight against Manny Pacquiao. Shit got real. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. Up out the 37th chamber, sold two dots, kill a beat, new generation. I'm killing niggas with no hesitations. Real hell razor, killing them softly because it builds patience. What's up with niggas and they fucking favorites? Swear to God, man, but I'ma just stop before they say I'm hating. Anyway, this be that chill wave. Each and every day, nigga, it's a lifestyle over this way. Along with getting blazed, talking to some slimmies. Sophisticated conversations while drinking some Henny or maybe some Irish whiskey. If they wanna get down, let's smoke a pound. Smoke ring, show us skills with a mouth. I'm on a different type of level than niggas getting they shine. All about that rah rah. I'm here to captivate the minds, turning niggas into zombie fans. A cult following that knows I get it poppin'. Just call me the showstopper, man. I'm Midwest to the fucking end. Subtracting bitch ass niggas from 
on my life to get these dividends I'm dope, pipe fresh, there's no contest Follow your feathers, but it's never lifting You was the best, I got these Ferrari dreams With the top down, nigga Glowing tree, cruising through the fucking south side, nigga Lots of hype beats, strolling through my timeline, nigga I just leave them where they at and focus on these figures I be the old Mr. Grunt Really just don't give a fuck about these niggas' feelings In my opinion, they fucking suck Yeah, and if they want it, they can see me, bruh I'm riding solo everywhere, consider that a fucking dead These niggas scared of competition these days Fuck a car to pull your page, so you better behave I'm an angry nigga, shake me, watch me fucking explode Like a champagne bottle that just dropped on the flow It's a whole lot of niggas that can't fuck with my torch A bunch of pussies, they ain't never stepped a foot off they porch I'm on a genocide mission to exterminate These fucking fakes walking with this proton pack Blowing my cares away I ain't finished yet, serious like Korea threats Throwing out these slurs every minute like I got Tourette's Fuck shit, bitch, and some other adjectives Make it all rhyme, I had you bopping, asking who is this? It's Soul Two Dots, raising the flag for hip-hop The fifth element, secret weapon, I'll be a sure shot Spitting all these lyrics like it's fucking ammunition on a 40 cal Seeking destroying these motherfuckers out